Hello, this is a short video documenting my uh, BC348 receiver. It's been completely rebuilt and restored. Comes with the uh, AC power supply, it's commercial, and this external speaker, and the cables and stuff to hook it all up. Alright, so let's crank it on. You got to turn on the power up here on the power supply. Lights came on on the dial. The dial lights are adjustable still. Focusing on how the turmeric extract, the curtain, okay, I'm tuned to 15, 20 the or something like that. And, and I'm hooked up to an outside antenna, the <clears throat> 80 right meter dipole. Now I'll just show you how the Bellevue. tuning works. Bellevue. I've got it on automatic volume control. See if those are off. LeBron is having his best year ever as a Cleveland Cavalier. CFO at our business. So that band's working really good. But we're out of AM, so the rest of that band is just noise. Okay, let's tune some other bands. This is 200 to 500 KC. One of the airport. I dims the fires. I like to turn on the CW oscillator, makes it easier to tune. There's another one. There's several of them down on this. Oh, here's a strong one. Well, let's see one. Okay, let's try a different band. This is 3.5 to 6.0. Goes out down here at 80 meters. Okay, to, to tune those guys in, I'll flip it over to manual. Crank the volume up a bit. Sideband tunes a lot better with the manual volume control and just adjust the gain here to get them tuned in. If you go to ABC and try to tune them, it overdrives. Of course, with the CW oscillator on. All right, let's see what else we can find. Should be WWV up here somewhere. There they are. Just a hair off. It's right on the zero of 5.0. Hair off on the dial. I don't know if we'll get much else on this. This band is pretty noisy. Computers and chargers and crud around the house. Okay. That's that band. Okay, let's try the next band. 6.0 to 9.5. There's some stuff up on the shortwave. Something there just to carry them. Yeah. 
Oh, that's now. 40 meters. Yeah, lots of stuff going on. 40. And that's about all for that band. Okay, let's try the next band. 9.5 to 13.5. It's not a lot of noise. Short wave stuff. I'm not getting. WWV and I tried a while ago on my ham radio I couldn't get 10 megahertz WWV so it's either off the air they were doing some maintenance on it earlier or we don't have any propagation broadband oh. noise up there That's odd sounding. Okay, that's that band. Okay, let's try the next band. The last band, 13.5 to 18. And the, the bands are not open, but... Oh! There's some... Yeah, that's at uh, 17, 8, 50, I guess. A lot of shortwave coming in up there. Never really listened up there. Some more shortwave. Pretty busy channel up there. Let's see, I don't know if I'm going to get WWV. I couldn't get it on my ham radio at 15 either. 15 or 10 on the ham radio. Oh! Oh, that's uh, CHU. Oh, ah, cool. in Canada. Let's see, we should be down here. We're getting close to 20 meters. Not a lot of 20 meter activity today. There's some CW. So quite a bit up there on that band today. It's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. So that's to be expected, I guess. Okay, well that's the last band. So you can see it's all working. Top to bottom. Pretty good old radio.